to another midweek encouragement here with the Parish of the Resurrection. I'm delighted to say today that we have with us, to Andrew and I, Peter, Peter Brown. Uh, some of you will have met Peter, uh, some of you won't. Uh, but through this midweek encouragement now, I'm sure uh, we'll get some wonderful encouragement and we'll also find out a little bit more about Peter and his life and what he's doing here in Alton. So, Peter, you know the first question, don't you? You know what we ask first, because uh, I think you've seen a couple of these now. Come on, tell us. How do you take your tea, sir? Well, I, I have in my hand a cup of coffee, actually. Oh. <laughs> and um, I tend not to go for tea unless it's in the sort of uh, more tea vicar context, you know. Oh. oh, okay. So it's just just a cup of coffee. So if, if, if we have you round, we'll get you a coffee rather than a tea. Yes, yeah, so it has to be ground coffee. Gra okay. Oh, gosh. Um, From a particular country or...? <laughs> Well, not really, but, you know, <laughs> I, li I like being surprised. Oh, that's right. We'll surprise you. So, Peter, uh, uh, I, I have been to your house and I've drunk your coffee, and it's very good coffee indeed. Um, so that kind of gives people an idea that you actually now live in Alton. You moved in during yes. lockdown. But but why, why, why come here? Well, um, um, I'm fully retired now uh, from Anglican ministry, full-time Anglican ministry and uh, we rent a house from the church commissioners and this house just happened to be available at the right time uh, when we wanted to move and uh, um, it's a real blessing and uh, we need to be near one of our daughters who lives in Woking though we can't be near our other daughter who lives in New Zealand uh, my wife Elaine and I Great. So you've moved into Alton, you moved in during lockdown. And it, That's correct. Yeah. So far, it's been OK. It's been good. It has. Uh, I got terribly anxious about moving. Um, but especially about not being able to make new friends. And when you finish ministry entirely, uh, you go somewhere where you know virtually no one. And uh, you haven't got an entree into the community as such. But as some of you... Uh, may know uh, we have Christians Christian neighbours on either side of us and another couple who are Christians in the cul-de-sac of Lincoln Green where we live great and you've made some great. friends I know uh, Peter so we know that you've been an Anglican minister you, you've uh, been a vicar in various places um, mm -hmm. but that, that's good but what else do you like doing what, what kind of hobbies have you got um I've got a variety of things. My basic thing is I'm a bibliophile. I love reading any sort of books at any time. I love reading the paper. I like listening to music of all sorts. Uh, that is intentionally. I like sitting down and listening to music, not just having it as uh, audible wallpaper as it is. Yeah, yeah. Elaine and I go to National Trusts. Um, I love film. Uh, I watch film systematically, uh, and um, I like humour very much as well. And, and I think um, on, your, on your bike, cycling around, you like to keep fit, I think? Well, um, I see the need to keep fit, but I don't always like to be on the move. I'm a bit, <laughs> I like just sitting quietly with a cup of coffee or something stronger. Good, good. Well, we, we hope that we can um, enjoy some of these hobbies with you over time. That would be lovely. Gordon. <clears throat> Peter, I mean, it's great that you're here. Great that you've come to Alton. And uh, we're very really conscious as we talk with you now that actually, yes, you have recently retired from full time ministry. And this is like a new phase of your life. So, you know, moving into that phase, you know, what what's kind of excites you about it? Um, well, as far as retirement goes, uh, you don't have to keep an eye on the time as much <laughs> and you don't have to have a diary and you can just to some extent take things as they come and I'm very much a spontaneous person uh, so that suits me and uh, Elaine likes that also as, as well um, and we're available uh, to help our, our family um, and um, what excites me very much is that the 
parish of the resurrection is it a new point i find that very exciting indeed and to be present uh although i see myself as a as very much a helper um you know some clergy um find it very hard to let go but i, I just want to do um what i'm asked to do on the whole uh, by you guys and uh if I happen to hear God, um, by him as well, of course. <laughs> Gosh, I thought for a moment that you were intimating that we were God comes, please, no. <laughs> but, well, God speaks through anyone, doesn't absolutely, he? Absolutely. Even clergy. He uh, speaks yeah. through <laughs> Absolutely, Peter. Oh, bless you, sir. It's really good to discover and hear more about you. And we're really excited that you and Elaine have chosen to come to Alton and make this your home uh, and for all that you've been doing throughout your ministry already and uh, it's really great to hear of your hopes and aspirations for retirement and actually I kind of feel a bit jealous that yeah your time is more your own so to speak and you can uh, just relax and enjoy life and we really hope that that will happen. Um, so You've got another 10 years Gordon. Uh, crumbs really? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see <laughs> but Peter it's it's brilliant that we've uh, been hearing from you today and uh, welcome to Alton welcome to the parish of the resurrection Thank you. Uh, and what we normally do at the end of a uh, one of these midweek encouragements is we pray and we pray for you please. so I hope that's okay can we pray for you now yes please okay let's pray heavenly father Lord, we lift Peter before you and Elaine before you and we thank you both for them we thank you for the way that they have served you in parish ministry over many, many years going back. Uh, and Lord, that you have um, helped them now, Lord, to move to this wonderful town of Alton. Mm. So, Lord, continue to watch over them, uh, continue to protect them, yes. bless them and settle them into this area. We thank you, Lord, uh, that in the area where they now live in Lincoln Green, that they have Christians either side of them. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for the uh, time that they now have that perhaps uh, they weren't able to enjoy so much in the past and we pray lord that they continue to enjoy that that time of not having to keep a diary uh, of being able to go off to national trust places of being able to get involved uh, within the parish of the resurrection where they feel called and we ask lord that you continue uh, to bless them and bless them and bless them again in the name of jesus we pray Amen. 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 Thank you, Peter. Thank you.